G'day to another Pokemon Go video. So uh, jumping into the Go Battle League. So uh, it's the uh, the last day of season one. Um, six hours to go. Uh, my rating is twenty four ninety two. I am in rank nine. So I've been as uh, if you've seen any of my videos, been trolling out a whole trialing out a whole bunch of different Great League teams. Some successful, some not so much. Um, so I have dropped my rating below the twenty five hundred threshold for rank nine. Um, and so before the season one ends, I did want to jump in and try and get. Um, above that 2500 threshold i know it is meaningless doesn't do anything uh, but i'd still like to try it so i'm going to jump into uh the the master league just because um i'll be honest that's uh, the league that i find the best uh, i do know the matchups there's i guess less pokemon that are in the meta um, and it does depend on um Ooh, how you start so I think what I'm gonna do here is switch straight out like I always do and then they're gonna switch in with their own Giratina counter which is absolutely fine let's see what they do so they're not switching out which is interesting um, so we've got exactly the same CPs um, so they're not throwing their charge moves so now they've thrown it so I'll throw mine um, let's see what happens Oh, and it's the Draco Media. So I think I should not have thrown that. Um, I think I'm going to undercharge this one um, just because I don't want it to KO because um, I would like to farm down a little bit of extra energy there. So uh, farm that little bit of extra down. So happy days. Um, so they've brought out the uh, Landorus. So that's a... a, a interesting call so lots more people seem to be running the landorus now so landorus is going to be a big big hassle for my um well both my dialga and my uh gear well metagross so i am obviously going to bring back in the giratina i'm going to let this count down a bit to make sure my switch time is up which it is let's just try and oh what are they bringing in their own so there's not much i can do there so i will actually throw this shadow oh, shadow ball throw the ominous wind um and let's see what they do so i hopefully oh i did not get the shield that's not good so if I can get there first, which I can't, um, I am going to protect this up. I have to do it because I need to keep the Giratina in the back to allow for um, the... Oof. Oh, so they've shielded that one up too. So no... So if I can get to my ominous wind first which i can happy days um so the problem i have now is that um i can only no boost so if they charge me here i'm gonna go down to it um let's see um this is gonna be really close so i'm hoping for a rock slide rather than um but i don't know whether yeah so that's done too much damage um and then they're going to be able to get to their charge move i think before i can get to mine let's see oh that is brutal so close um so I imagine this is going to be, yep, good old earth power, and that one-shots me. So close to getting there. Um, really unfortunate. So what I should have done there is as soon as the... Um, yeah, as soon as it switched back in... But, I mean, it had energy to rock slide, so it would have been able to just save up to the earth power and use that. So um, not ideal for me there. Um I'm just trying to think of so switching on the rock power would have been the uh, the rock power the the uh, rock throw would have been the way to go um, but in order to do that I'd need to know how many um, charge moves someone is running so place in the sun uh, let's see how we go um, so got the Giratina lead which is really bad for me because it means um, basically when I swap in my Dialga they're going to swap out to their Dialga counter um, so I'm going to shield this up because it's probably going to be a superpower and then they're going to get out of there. So superpower and then swap. Yep. 
Um, so obviously that is going to be what happens all the time. So I'm going to over farm just a little bit here. Um, and I don't know whether... Uh, so I'm just curious on whether I can go down a shield here. Well, down an extra, down two shields here. Um, so I think I'm going to shield this one up. It's just going to be the iron head. Um, but I do want to be able to maintain switch here. So I'm just going to throw this. Um, so I don't mind being down a... Um, down a charge, uh, down a shield, if I can maintain switch, and I did manage to get um, the second shield from them. So the question is, what is this going to be? So I'm going to throw out my Metagross. Um, so they managed to get to, I'm hoping it's an Iron Head and not a Draco Media. It's probably going to be, oh, it is the Iron Head, so that's that's okay for me. Not not ideal by any stretch, but it's still okay. So let's see what we've got. Um, so this puts me in a really bad spot because as soon as I switch out, they're going to switch in. So the only thing I can do here is hope for a boost. Um, there's nothing I can do losing that switch advantage. So uh, I don't I don't really know. I'm really hoping for a boost here, which I haven't got. Um, yeah, so this is problematic. So I think what I'm going to try and do is... Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do here. So the only thing I can hope for is they um, decide to use some charge moves to waste some time. Um, so then maybe I can... Um, possibly wait for this timer out, switch in I, uh, media mash straight away and then um, swap out again. But let's see. So I'm going to throw the ominous wind here. Uh, this is real bad. Uh, the strategy here, I just don't think it can be done. Um, let's see what they do. So what I'm going to do is tr go for it um, with the... Uh, whew, uh, Metagross here, get the Media Mash in, um, and then see if I can get to something. Um, if I can get to something, I might be okay. Um, so they're going to have a charge move saved up, and I don't have enough energy to charge. So it was a call between waiting it out and... Um, let's see, I'm pretty sure I do not have enough for a charge move straight out. And I don't, so that uh, had I stayed in for one more quick move, that would have been close, but I probably would have needed two to be completely honest to get there. So probably should have saved in for until I got the um, until I got the shadow ball saved up, switched out, thrown the charge, and then shadow balled in. Um, yeah, so there's uh, two of two losses, so not going well to start this. Um, that was a much more same team um, the difficulty I guess is uh, when you lose that lead matchup so this is also a really bad lead for me um, so I'm going to I'm going to switch this out you know uh, let's see what they do they're going to switch themselves out oh they took a while to switch out there um, so the problem they have with this so we're both doing super effective damage to one another um, so that's actually okay for me. I will just spam this uh, shield. Well, I'm going to shield up if they attack now. Um, it's probably going to be the uh, mud bomb, is it? Um, surf, okay, so that's an interesting one. Um, so I wasn't expecting a surf there, but uh, I'm fine with that. Um, it means I get to another charge move, so they can either let this go um, or let's just find out what they do or burn a second shield. So they've burnt their second shield, which is actually fine. I'm fine with. Um, it does mean I'm going to come in with my Dialga now um, so I can store up energy to be able to throw it straight on the... Uh, straight on the... Let's see what they've got. Oh, so they've surfed again. So I've really wasted a shield there. So I can instantly, hopefully, throw this on the Togekiss that comes back in. Let's see what it is. So I'm actually going to switch this up. 
Um, so I'll shadow ball here because I've got no shields. Um, and I want to just put immense pressure on. So they may switch this out, which is fine um, if they switch this out. Um, so attack incoming. So if this if this is just an ancient power, I'm absolutely fine with it. Oh, it's an aerial ace. So that's okay. Not what I was expecting, but fine. Oh, and they managed to charge me down. So for this one, I'm just going to throw the... Um, the Draco there, so it's going to be interesting. They, they've got a Kog in the back that's got a lot of energy. Um, let's see if it gets to... I'm hoping this is just a Surf and not a Blizzard. Um, I think it was out long enough to get a Blizzard, though, to be completely honest. Oh, no, so it's just the Surf. So, they, ooh, I'm hoping they can't throw back-to-back -back Surfs. Come on, get me to Iron Head. And I managed to get to Iron Head just in time. So they must have been really, really close to being able to throw another Surf. Um, and that will be a good game there. So uh, that one was really close, too. So much closer than I would have wanted. So getting uh, some bad leads... Um, Switching out was the move to do. They didn't have... Um, I don't... Mm, I'm not sure in terms of... I think if I had have switched out into a Metagross, the better option there was definitely the um, Kyogre to switch into just because the Rhyperia was also taking super effective damage. So, yeah, a bit of a neutral match they switched into rather than with the Kyogre, they would have had the advantage. So I'll jump straight back in and see if we can uh, get a match with a bit more favourable lead would be good. So I've two losses and one win now. So I need to, uh, well, need to, would like to uh, have uh, end this with uh, more wins than losses. To do that, I need to win these next two games. No pressure whatsoever. Let's see what gets led. Uh, so it is a Giratina lead. So that's okay with me. Um, so mine is 100%, so I should be okay. Um, so I will let them attack first. Let's see what they do. Oh, I don't think I actually got the... Uh got the extra charge move in there so they have shadow balled so that's a big one um so let's see what that happens here so i think they may have got an extra attack in there which is really unfortunate um so i'm only going to ominous win so let's see what they do oh so they've let it hit so that's really interesting um so i'm going to ominous win straight up again and let's see what they do so this is going to be putting on uh, a bit of shield pressure Let's see. Um, so yeah, so that's got the uh, got the shield there. So I'm actually going to have to shield a second time here. Um, so I am going to shield that up, and let's see what happens. So if this is another shadow ball, so oof, um, so I don't know whether I should fast move farm this down or com oh, this is a big call. Um, so that's all right. Happy with that. Let's see what comes out. Um, so I'm fully expecting that to be, yep, good old, uh, good old toga kiss. Um, absolutely fine with this uh, matchup. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go straight up earthquake because, um, well, they may want to keep a shield in the back for their uh, toga kiss. Oh, so they've kept the shield. Oh, so they've used the shield for the Dialga. So that's a big play and that's a good move. Um, so the question is, if they... They're probably iron heading here, which shouldn't do enough damage to K. Oh, so they're Draco metering. Okay. Um, so that's a big, big play there. So that's really interesting. Um, so I will charge this up so they should be able to oh so they're just going to iron head here um, which is i'm fine with um absolutely fine with me um because it does mean it's going to do next to no damage as soon as their um uh toga kiss comes out i can iron head um and that will be good game so uh, really happy with that one. And then had a stored up Shadow Ball on the Girat. Oh, wow. Okay. So I just assumed that uh, it, uh, it, it one-shotted. Apparently it doesn't. Um, so Togekiss is a beast of a thing, but uh, I had a lot of energy stored up. So it got to another Iron Head really quickly there before they could get their Flamethrower off. Um, so happy with that one. Got the win there. So two and two. Um... Good to see that uh, worked out. Let's, oh, 
So, yeah, okay, fine. I was a bit surprised I couldn't go into my next battle. I was thinking, did I miss something there? But no, um, I'll jump in. Throw the same uh, same lineup of three, um, and we'll see how we go. So, not getting the best lead. So interesting that they chose not to shield. Um, take the chance of the uh, the shadow ball going through, um, and it was just the ominous win. So they uh, chose not to shield at the right time. So this is going to be interesting as well. So um, I should have checked what the name of the last person was to see if I was playing the same person again. Um, so are they waiting for me to attack or are they going to attack first? So this is interesting. Um, so they've uh, finally pulled the trigger there. So I'm going to shield this up because we're both on huge amounts of energy, which is fine. So I'm going to attack again and they've gone straight into a second attack. So they'll probably go straight into a second attack and then get out of there. Let's see. Yep. And so it took me far too long to switch there. Um, so this is really bad for me. Uh, yeah, so this will probably be the iron head, I would imagine. Let's see. Yeah, so it's just the iron head. So that's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, so I'm going to charge up a little bit more. Threaten with a Draco, um, and then I'm hoping I can. Well, I'm hoping I can get a shield really, because if I don't get a shield, I'm in trouble. Yep. So finally got a shield there. So happy days. Um, so for this one, um, whether it be a Draco or an Iron Head, um, so I'm hoping it's an Iron Head. And it is. So that's fine. Not much damage. They're going to switch into their. Uh, so I should have waited longer before switching, um, so my switch clock could be down. Let's see what they do here. So I'm going to throw the ominous... Oh, and they've caught me. I'm wasting all that energy. Uh, this is good game right here. Oh, so superpower. Oh, so that might have saved me. Um might have saved me so if I can get back to back ominous wins so I should have just gone straight up shadow ball here let's see so I got the boost and I managed to throw a shadow ball in between um, so they've shielded that up which is fine um, so my let's see so this is going to come out so I'm going to have to throw my charge move here Woo, so this is uh, this is turning out a lot closer than I was expecting. So this is going to KO here. So they're coming back out with the... Oh, so this is a big, big call. Um, so Superpower is going to do a fair bit of damage here, but it shouldn't KO at this range. And the question is, do I ooh, pull the trigger or do I just hold off? I'm going to hold off. And I got there. Oh, happy days. So uh, that is an absolutely insane last match. Um, so this should KO from this range with a debuff. So absolutely outstanding. Uh, so happy with that last one. Um, what a game to go uh, to pull me over the line. So go positive. Uh, two losses, three wins, um, two losses off the uh, open. And then to pull that out as uh, win number five is just insane. So swapped it up, um, managed to get the superpower on the Giratina, throw the ominous win, get the boost, and then throw the shadow ball. So that is insane. Um, then obviously get, get fast move farm down by the um, Giratina th through the through the Media Mash to KO and then managed to get to the earthquake so absolutely insane um what a lucky last game for me i couldn't have planned that if i uh, if i tried so uh, really really happy with that one um and let's see so 2492 so that should i'm hoping take me over the 2500 mark let's let's find out so did we make it to 2500 2502 happy days so that's taking me over the 2500 that was my uh, that was my target for 
the, the battles today. I do have a couple more sets left, so I don't know whether to push my luck and, and try and boost up a little bit more or just be happy with uh, with being over the 2,500. So uh, um, hopefully that match was, uh, well, and especially that last one, absolutely crazy. Really happy with it um, and stoked, you can probably tell. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully it was uh, interesting for someone and uh, we'll see how we go. So um, I will uh, probably see you in season two. Hopefully you had a good season one of Go Battle League um, and you're ready for season two. So uh, obviously season two is going to kick off with the Great League. I've got a few other uh, Great League videos uh, running around showing different teams, so mixing things up. Um, so one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is uh, try and be consistent with your team. As you can see in some of my videos, um, I'm losing matches because I'm just not familiar with the team. So stick with your team if you're not losing horrendously or if the meta hasn't changed significantly try and stick with your team really get your um, matches down so you know when to switch in and who to switch in at what times um, when you know what damage charge moves will do so you know when you need to shield and when you can just let something go um, stuff like that so uh, that's why consistency is probably one of the big things um, particularly in the great league because you will come up against so many different um, team lines um, you need to be really aware what you can switch out and what you can't and also when you start to come up against those lines you know more so what's in the back of that team as well or have an idea of what's in the back of that team so you know what you can switch into and out of and, and sort of be a bit more safe so um that is it for me for season one managed to finish at 25 well i say managed to finish at 2502 let's hope i uh, stick to it and don't uh, jump in and drop down um in my last set um, but uh, managed to jump over the uh, the limit so 2502 they're really happy with that and uh yeah Thanks very much for watching all the videos. Hopefully they were helpful. Um, jump into some of the others and uh, and check them out. See what teams you can run. See what I do wrong and what you can avoid doing. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.